I did mention this before. Let me, let me pull up the webcam fully. I did mention this. This right here is that Aluma bracelet. It's like grayish and there's like colors on here, like rainbow colors-ish. You see that? That's the band that I got. I wonder if it still fits on my wrist. Yep, it does. It's even a bit big, but dude, look at how like big my arm is getting. That's so cool. That's never, I've never been able to look at this. I remember like right here, right here where my, short, where my elbow was, it would be like a hole. It would literally be a hole. Like it would like dig in there because of how skinny I was because of how little meat I had. It was on like both sides. It was like across the board. Like you could see like an outline of my bone and you could still feel my bone on like across, like everywhere right here and stuff. But like, God damn, dude. What a huge difference this is. Huge difference. I love it. I love it. Like this keeps me motivated. I, I heard from this dude who was like, you know what going to the gym is like? It's like you get like an hour or two of happiness throughout the day where you feel good about your body and then the rest of the 22 hours, 20, 23 hours, you feel sad about your body. And it's like, I don't feel that way, bro. I feel like I'm in hell at the gym. It's all the way around for me. I feel like I'm in hell at the gym. And then through the rest of the 22 hours throughout the day, I feel like a king. I feel like a god. I'm like, look at me, bro. Look at what I've accomplished. It feels amazing. Really, I don't even work out for myself. I work out for my mom. I work out so that my mom, like, when I when I come back from the gym, she could be like, oh my God, Afroz, look at your muscles. Look at how big you've gotten and all this stuff. That's what I do it for. I don't care about all this other, like, working out for myself? Who the hell wants to do that? I worked out for myself for years and I've been on and off and on and off and much more off than on. But now, now that like, I get to hear my mom say that, now I'm, I'm like with the shit, you know? Now she sees me do things and the way that I'm walking without dragging my feet and all this stuff, not as much as I used to and all, like, she's like blown away and surprised and I'm like, this is such a great motivation. I love this. I'm having the time of my life doing this. I also gotta show this. So I, I mentioned in um, the Aluma stream that I took the Dandia stick from them. <clears throat> this is that stick. I stole it. Nobody else managed to do this because we couldn't bring our bags there. Damn, wait, wait, I'm not even thinking. I'm not even thinking. I'm just talking because I was focused on that. Default mode network, word association mode, discord mode right now. Yeah, yeah, I put it on my pants. And then after the Dandy, I kept it in my bag for the entire time while I was at Aluma, brought it back. I never showed anyone. I think I may have showed one person um, throughout the entire camp, but it's a, like, it's such fuzzy memories at this point. Um, but I doubt I showed anyone. I know like, I, I planned on showing people on the bus, but I was like, no, no, no I'm gonna be cautious about it. And then counters and stuff came on the bus, like at, at the end of camp when we were going back to the uh, place. And I'm like, Whew, glad I didn't show anybody because they probably would have taken it. They probably would have taken it giving it back or something like that. Cause like, this is not the kind of, like if I took Oreos, they would have been like, all right, whatever, just eat it or something like that. But this is like, it's a Dandia stick. And if you don't know what Dandia, it's like a, you know, like it's like the thing where you like dancing and hitting other people's sticks and stuff like that. And we'd go around and you know, when you're like little kids, you go to these like Dandia places and you have like sword fights and stuff with the sticks and play with your friends like that. Cause these are way bigger when you're like seven years old, they're like, half your height or something like that, you know? That's what it feels like. They feel like swords. 